So let's talk about the last uh, node that exists in the geometry node that shifts with key shot 8 and that is the bubbles. So before we get on with that, let me go ahead and just simply apply a new material to this object which we have. So I'm picking up the material from this material library that has to do with liquid beer. And even before we get started, you would already notice that it has some sort of bubbles inside. So I think it's best we just go ahead and pick something that is totally transparent. So let's pick up this glass and apply this glass to it. And now you see we have just this very empty void glass. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is go ahead to the material graph and we're going to go to the geometry once we right click we'll go to geometry and then we can add bubbles okay so i'm going to drag these bubbles and drop right on top there so once i attach these bubbles here and double click i can make decisions of what size i want to have and most of these things are not real time so you have to actually execute them one after the other so that you can see what you're actually doing and next i'm going to increase the intent uh, the density i can play with the uh, size variation a little bit and then i'll go ahead and hit the execute geometry node so once i hit execute geometry node keyshot will go ahead and generate bubbles for us so your first question is why would you use the bubbles instead of using the flakes these two things work in different scenes one of them work in a scene where you want to add direct stuff while the other one you just want things to happen organically and you don't want to actually interfere with them so much then you can just go ahead and use the bubbles so another question you might be asking from the geometry tab is what do you do with this node here this node is basically a density just like we saw with the other one so you can come over to the texture node here and you can pick uh, this and pick this gradient and apply it to this Part, which is the density texture and this density texture would read from this uh, from this gradient which we have here and from here we can actually decide how much density we want and what part of the object which we are looking at so with this you can see we have a very uh, different result and if you use something like what we used earlier with in the previous tutorial video you can also see that by just coming over and hitting this button we can also generate a different kind of density so if you have questions about this please put them in the comment section down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends and don't forget to turn on notification if you've not subscribed please subscribe to this channel and until i see you guys next time peace